Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you today? Is it raining? I am happy. Oh, that's great. Is it raining there? Yeah, it's here raining. it's raining. No? Yeah, here it's raining. In Ilopango, it's raining. Oh, really? Yes, because here it's raining too in Santa Rosa. Okay. But that's not because it's fresh. <laughs> Kimberly, I didn't see you yesterday. Yeah, Miss, I have uh, a little problem, uh, problem mm. in the head, so I get up <laughs> early in the class. Ah, okay. Okay, everybody, it's good to see you here today. Um, let's start our class. What number is our class? Eight. Number eight. Exactly, it's our class number eight. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Yes. Thank yes. You. Very good. Thanks a lot. Okay, can somebody tell me what's today's topic? Simple past. Simple past, yes, no question. Exactly. Today we are going to learn how to structure questions in the simple past of regular and irregular verbs. Okay. So we have two objectives today for this lesson. Um, Kimberly, could you please read the first one? And Jenny, could you please read the second one? Okay. okay. Um, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simpler past yes on a question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how, top, how this topic is used in a real life setting. And the second one say, by the end of this class, you will learn how the, to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verb. I can hear you, miss. I can hear you, miss. Miss, I can hear you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so yes, that's the topic, okay? Yes, no questions. And the simple past and also positive and negative statements in the simple past is an irregular verb. Well, yesterday I gave you uh, some ideas of that. Uh, Jenny, Jenny Sanchez, could you please read the agenda, activity number one? Okay. Activity number one, recalling previous knowledge. Activity number two. Pronunciation of ED ending in regular verbs. Activity three. Describing the last trip you took. took, took. Activity four. Simple past, yes, no question. And finally, wrap up. Thank you. Okay, so let's just start with the recording previous class. And the question is, what did you do today? Okay, the homework was to um, write about what you did yesterday, but today it was another day when you uh, did different activities. I want to tell you about my day today. Okay, in the morning I woke up at 6 a.m., then I took a shower and prepared my breakfast. I made fried eggs, beans, and plantains. After that, I brushed my teeth and I went to work. At noon, I had my lunch. I had pasta, vegetables, and salad, and, and coffee <laughs> because I was very sleepy. So I drank coffee at noon. Then at 1.30 p.m., I started work again until 5 p.m. 
Then I went to the supermarket with my boyfriend. And then uh, when we got home, we celebrated our anniversary because today we had um, one year and six months, okay? In our relationship. And now I am connecting, thank you. And now I am connecting here with you in the class, okay? So now I would like some participants to tell, to share with the class, what, what did you do today? Can you please tell us what you did today? Yes, for me. In the morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I, and then I took a shower and, pre and prepared my breakfast with my family. Then I went, then I went, I went to shopping. I went shopping um, at the store, uh, some vegetable. I bought some vegetable and made the chew, the lunch. And in the afternoon, I filled the form, the form for the next course. <laughs> and I sent it, sent it. Yes, only you, you in this moment. This yes, I sent it. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's give some applause to Yancy for sharing. Thank you so much. Okay, another volunteer. I teacher. Okay, so much, thank you. Oh, what did I do today? In the in the in the today morning, I woke up at five o'clock. And then I took a shower. I prepared I prepared breakfast for me and then my daughter. I washed the clothes. In today afternoon, I visited my parents. I went shopping center and arrived home at eight o'clock in this moment <laughs> i studied english oh only that okay you came just in time for the class okay thank you so much okay. okay what about a boy i would like a boy to share with the class the activities you did today Okay, another volunteer, please. Remember, the more you participate, the better for you because you're practicing. And imagine when you go to an interview in English, you have to speak in English in front of another person that you don't know. And here, it's your time or your chance to practice your opportunity. Hi, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, what did I do today? Mm. Today I woke, wake up at 5.30 a.m. <clears throat> then I go, I made the breakfast uh, because my husband lived at seven, at six o'clock, <laughs> and uh, we have we have breakfast. Um, brush my teeth, clean the house, and uh, in the afternoon, I, I made a. Um, the lunch, and then I get a, I got to my work at the hospital, and then um, 
<clears throat> I leave. I leave to my work at uh, seven o'clock p.m. And today, <laughs> now at uh, yes. And now you're here. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Good job. Gracias. Good job. Okay, guys. Um, I I want to say thank you for sending uh, your your homework. Okay. Thank you. I. I really appreciate your responsibility. And well, here, guys, you can see some of the words. Can you please tell me what are the past tense of this word? Eat. Eight. Drink. Drunk. Walk. Walked. Study. 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 Go. Went. Went. Send. Sent. Do. Did. Did. Okay. Took. Took. Okay, good job. Okay, now guys, I want you to practice the spelling of some of some words. Okay. So I need some volunteers. Okay, and I will assign you a number. Uh, let me see, people who haven't participated today. Patricia, Veronica, you're going to be number one. Vanessa, number two. Angela, number three. Dennis, number four. Jenny Marisol Perez, number five. Fatima del Carmen, number six. Ludivina, number seven. Modesto, number eight. And Kevin Rocco, number nine. Okay? So, uh, who is number one? I think Lisette is number one. This is Martin. <coughs> Lisette, are you there? Okay, Lisette. Mm -hmm. How do you spell number one? How do you spell what? W. How? Mm -hmm. K. K. E. Very good. Number two. Next person. How do you spell road? Hi. W. R. O. T. E. Thank you. Number three. How do you spell did? Who was number three? Number three? Angela. Okay, Patricia Veronica, what was your number? D. Uh-huh. Okay, number three. Who got number three? Go ahead. Okay, Jenny Marisol, number three. Um, three D. Okay. R D. D I D. Very good. Number four. S A W. Excellent. Number five. Uh, uh, D R N K. Excellent. Number six. A T E. Good job, Fatima. Number seven. A T E. Number seven. Double oh, U. W E N T. Thank you so much. Number eight. T H O U G. H T. Thank you so much. And number nine. 
K E P T. Exactly. So these ones are regular or irregular verbs. Irregular. Irregular. They are irregular. irregular. Exactly. So please repeat after me. Walk. 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 Road. Walk. Walk. Road. 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 Leave. So. 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 Drunk. 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 Ate. 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 Went. Went. Thought. Thought. Kept. 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 Very good. Now let's go to, let's practice the spelling of regular verbs. Okay. First, repeat after me. And this is something that you are going to do. When I tell you the number, you are going to say the number, no, sorry, not, not the number, the verb in past, then you start a spelling and then you pronounce it again at the end. For example, number one, liked, L-I-K-E-D, liked. Can everybody please repeat? L-I-K-E-D. Liked. L I K E D. Okay, now I'm going to ask some people. Liked. Okay, liked. Right. I'm going to ask some people to um, spell number two, Andrea Renderos. Number three, Carla Alejandrina. Number four, Albert Franklin. Number five, um, Eric Martinez. Number six, Monica Esther, number seven, Jenny Sanchez, number eight, um, Angela Mariela, number nine, Vanessa. Number two, one tip. Yo tenía una duda con esa, mi que se le iba a decir. ¿Cómo se pronuncia W? Double U. Double U. Okay. W. W. One it. One it. One it. W. A. N. T. E. D. Thank you so much. Number three. Touched. Pouch. T. O. U. C. H. E. D. Very good. Number four. Walk it. Walk it. W A L A L K E D. Thank you so much. Good job. Number six. Live. Live. L I S T E N E D. Oh, sorry. That was number five. Listen. Thank you so much. Number six. Live. Live. L I B E D. Yay! Yeah, great. Number seven. Study. 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 S T U D I E D. D D. Very good. Number eight. Carrier. Carrier. Number eight. <laughs> E A R D. Hola. Can you, can you repeat, please? C A R R E D. I E D. I E D. Okay, thank you so much. And the last one, practice. Dame los papeles. Practice number nine. Oh, oh, sorry. P R A D T. Okay, thank you. P R A D T I E D. P E D. Okay, good job to everyone. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now guys, um, here. 
Okay, so um, in this um, table, you can see the infinitive form of the verbs, and you have the positive form in the past and the negative form in the past. Okay, the, fir the first verb is go. What is the past of go in the affirmative form? When. And the negative when. form? When. No, I don't know. Ah, didn't go. Uh -huh. didn't go. go. Exactly. Uh -huh. so remember, when we have the auxiliary, <laughs> the verb is in the base form. The verb doesn't change. The verb doesn't change. Okay? So, <clears throat> the infinitive is go, in the, and the past is went, and in the negative, didn't go. Have, had, didn't have. didn't have get got have, didn't get. get yeah you can you can repeat but for yourself okay got didn't get now, uh, i'm going didn't to use, i'm going to the, um mute all the participants because i would like um that you can listen clearly okay Is that right? <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Uh, teach, taught, didn't teach. Hear, heard, didn't hear. Feel, felt, didn't feel. Leave, like it worked. Left, didn't leave. Lose, lost. Didn't lose. No. Meet, didn't. met, didn't meet. So, see, didn't saw, met. didn't see. So, didn't Fair, see. War, didn't wear. Yeah, war, didn't speak, wear. Spoke, see, didn't speak. Spoke. Do, did, didn't do. Can, the past of can, oh, can is, a, is a, an auxiliary. Do. The past of can is good, and in the past, in the negative, is couldn't. For example, teacher, I'm so sorry. I couldn't do my homework that night. Okay, I couldn't do my homework. Okay, guys, now let's continue with, with this topic. Pronunciation of ED ending and regular words. I can do. Okay. There are three ways in which we can pronounce the ED. Like the, 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 and id, id. For example, booked, kissed, looked, reached, and watched. With the sound, d, d, we have appeared, called, hugged, received, smiled, troubled, and tried. Okay? And the uh, other pronunciation is with the E. Greeted, invited, landed, spotted, started, visited, and wanted. Okay, maybe you wonder, teacher, I have, um, I have how do I know what's the pronunciation of each verb? Okay, I'll give you here some, um, some ideas, okay? Or some clues or some secrets. So there are three different ways to pronounce the ED ending, a regular verse and a simple past tense. The pronunciation depends on the sound at the end of the infinitive of the verb. So for example, um, with the words that end in t or d, d, the sound is E, for example, want, wanted. Need, made it. Start, started. Decide, decided. Okay. Now, where's that end in? Sound? You, the pronunciation is like, for example, kiss, kiss, kissed. Laugh, laughed. 
ask, asked, stop, stopped, watch, watched, wash, washed. Okay. Yeah. And now, yeah. uh, the most common ED sound is the, the words and in any other sound, for example. So, what? say, trouble, opening, plan. Close, closed. Save, saved. What? Trouble, troubled. Open, opened. Climb, climbed. Okay, so maybe you can see that I'm making like an extra effort to um, pronounce, okay, I'm making emphasis. But when you um, practice and practice and practice your English, then this is gonna be like a very, very national or, um, yeah, you're, you're not gonna do it like very forced. It's gonna come naturally, okay? So um, you can practice this. Um, this is gonna be the homework to practice the, the pronunciation of these verbs, okay? Very good. Now let's go to simple past yes, no questions. And what is the structure of simple past yes, no questions? This is so easy because you need to, you need the auxiliary D. This is even easier than the simple present. Okay, the past is easier because you just need the auxiliary D, then we have the subject, and then the verb, the verb doesn't change, it's in the base form, and then the complement, okay? For example, did I buy tomatoes today? Did you buy tomatoes today? Did he buy tomatoes today? Yes, I did. Did she buy tomatoes today? Did it buy tomatoes today? Do we, did we buy tomatoes today? Did you buy tomatoes today? Did they buy tomatoes today? Okay, and the answers, what would the answers be? Can somebody yes. tell me? For example, if I ask you, did you buy tomatoes today? What would be your, mm. the answer? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Affirmative? No. Yes. I, no, I didn't. Did or no, I didn't. Okay. What about if I ask, did he buy tomatoes today? Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Or no, no he, didn't. he didn't. Okay. Did um, did we or did she? Let's say she. Did she buy some? Did she buy tomatoes today? Yes, she, she did. did. Yes, she. Yes, did. she did. Yes, she did. Or no, no she didn't. She, did, so no, she didn't. did not or didn't. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Sorry. Okay, now it's time to practice. Very good. Here I have this activity, which the name of the activity is Find Someone Who. Okay, for this activity, you are going to make questions and answers in simple fact. And you are going to ask people in your groups. I'm going to create some groups. And you have to find in your group someone who ate fish yesterday, find someone who made lunch yesterday, someone who watched TV yesterday afternoon, someone who did the laundry last weekend, someone who chatted, chatted on Facebook last night, and someone who went to bed late last night. Almost everybody. <laughs> so you have to find someone who. You have to create the questions for these sentences. For example, for the first sentence, the question would be, did you eat fish yesterday? The answers, yes, I did. No, I didn't. If your classmate answers, yes, I did, you are going to write the name of your classmate. But if your classmate answers, no, I didn't. You don't write the name. 
you say thank you and you ask another person. Until you find, hasta que encuentre, until you find someone who did this activity. Hasta que encuentre a alguien que sí haya hecho la actividad. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Voy a hacer grupos. Voy a hacer, ajá, voy a hacer algunos grupos. Y en el grupo ustedes se tienen que preguntar, tienen que hacer las questions. Pero si gustan, primero hagan las preguntas. You can write the questions right now in your notebook, and then you can ask the questions to your classmates. Okay? Any opinion? Miss, no sé. Sure. <laughs> eh, hay veces la veo como que se queda como estática. Wow. I, miss, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Eh, hay veces se ve como que se queda como congelada, eh, y entonces no, es, no escuché cuando dijo. No se le de... escucha. Hola. Eh, teacher, hay veces se ve como que se queda como congelada. No sé si seré que yo solo veo a usted o los demás. Es posible que sea por el internet y como está lloviendo. Más bien, así. El sonido se va. Un poco. Se escucha entrecortado, teacher. Ok. I'm gonna try. Escuchamos la indicación. ¿No la escucharon? No. Una parte. Yes. Vaya, que si sí. alguien no había, no lo ha hecho, que, que hemos hecho, pero ¿qué va a pasar si dice no hay? Oh, yes, I did. Que él no sé qué es lo que dijo que después. Pues, Okay, si dice, yes I did, you write the name Hello. of your classmate. Hello. Se quedó congelada. <laughs> Cherry Spritz. Hello. You need to refresh your computer. I'm trying to, to connect from other uh, internet connection. But the problem is that it's raining. That's why it's not working well. Hello. Hi. Yes, Miss. Can you hear me? Hola. Ahora sí. Hello. Ahora sí escuchamos. Okay, I'm going to repeat the instructions for the activity. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, the name of the activity is find someone who. So, you are going to ask and answer questions. Yes, no questions in the simple parts. I have these activities. Can you see the activity on the table? Yes. yes. Okay. So, the, these activities are in the past. You have to create the questions. For example, a fish yesterday. So you have to write a question like this. Did you eat fish yesterday? Okay. The first step, step number one, write the questions. Write the questions. Yes. Okay. I did, yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Write the questions. I do. Oh. Yes, I remember, did. Okay. remember. You have to start the question with the auxiliary D, then the subject, you, and then the verb in the base form and the complement. Write the yes. questions, please. Yes, I completed. I finished. I finished. Teacher, en todas las eh, interrogantes va a ser did you. 
Exactly. Oh, okay. Me van a salir one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Uh, your idea, okay. Your idea is your idea. Yes. Oh, your idea. Okay, you create yes. your own question. <clears throat> Teacher, disculpe, en la número cuatro, em, e, e inicia con did. Entonces, It's did do. you did the laundry last week? Tendría que ser la pregunta. Do. No. Do. Did you do the laundry? Ah. Uh -huh. Did you do the laundry? Did you do your homework? Did you do the dishes? Finished. Okay, now I am going to create a breakup room and you are going to ask and answer the questions in your groups. Okay. And if your classmate answers, yes, I did, you write the name of your classmate. Okay. Right, si su compañero dice, yes, I did, escribe el nombre de su compañero. But if your classmate answers, no, I didn't, don't write the name. Ask okay. other okay. person, ask another person. Oh, there's a, a dog over there that is barking. <laughs> okay, let's accept the invitation. Dennis, please accept the invitation. Veronica, Lise, Eric, Ludivina. Because you say, you modesto say no. And Carla, did you eat fish today? Carla? No. Didn't not. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Not I didn't. Okay. I want to ask for Albert Frank Franklin. Did you eat fish today? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Anybody eat? Nobody fish? ate fish. <laughs> or you can Heavy? you can change the fish. Okay. For chicken. okay. Ah, oh, it's easy, okay. Um, Kevin, did you eat chicken today? No, I didn't. Oh, no. Andrea, no, did, you eat, <laughs> did you eat potatoes today? Potato? Yes. No, I didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. It, it, this is... For Modesto, did you watch TV yesterday afternoon? No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay. I know. Carla, did you? No, I didn't. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hello, I'm just observing. Just ignore that I am here. Keep practicing. Okay, teacher. Bien, the question number two. ¿Qué respondió? ¿Quién? Repita la pregunta, por favor. Repeat the question. Sí. 
Si gustan, iniciamos nuevamente. Ajá, ordenémonos quién va, quién va a hacer la pregunta y quién va a responder. Es que no se hice la primera. Yo hice la primera. Did, did you eat fish yesterday? Alguien que conteste y que haga la siguiente. Todas me dijeron que no han comido pescado ayer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero tiene que seguir usted y hasta que le contesten sí, va a, va a ceder otra pregunta. Creo que así dijo la ticha. Ah, bueno, entonces, did you make lunch yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. ¿Quién, ¿Quién contestó? Yes, I did. Yo, Ángela. Ángela. Ajá, voy a hacer una yo. Did you watch the TV yesterday afternoon? No. I didn't know. But excuse me, no. I <laughs> She did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Actually, I did today. <laughs> okay. I did the laundry. Jenny, did... Y habrá alguien más en la sala. Ok. Yo, pero ya nos pidieron que regresemos. Yeah. Bueno, mientras nos sacan. Bye. Did you make... Lunch yesterday? Yes, I did. Um, Fatima, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Do you laundry? Ay, que se me olvidaron las preguntas. Otra vez la voy a volver a buscar. Did you do the laundry? <laughs> Okay. Do did you do the laundry last weekend? Um, ¿Cómo sería? Eh, si la bola. La vela roja. Uh -huh. Yes, I did uh, or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, did you chat on Facebook last night? No, I didn't. No. Did you do to bed? Lado de llegó. Exacto. Entonces no va a decir. Entonces sería do you did you go? Sí, así Exacto. que. Exacto. Did you go to the. Entonces, to bed late last night? Did you go? Sí. To... Uh -huh. Last night. Sí. Yes. Yes, I did. Sí, sería. Sí. Sí, sí, así. Que ya bueno. Yes, I did. Okay. Ah, uh, Carla. Did you swim today? Yes, I did. Albert, did you swim today? Yes, I did. Thank you. Recuerde que los verbos tienen que ir en presente. Gracias. Déjeme, amor. Platform. No, I don't. Oh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I no, I didn't. But, sorry, I, I did it. No, I no. don't. Yes, I I'm not. Oh. 
Okay, how was the practice? Very good. Okay. 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 Uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see. Okay. Can somebody okay. tell me the first question? The second question. Did you make lunch yesterday? Excellent. The number three. Did you watch? Did you watch the? Okay. Pardon. Say. Yes, yes. You do. Okay. You do. Did you watch TV yesterday afternoon? Great. The okay. main... Did you do the laundry last week? Would Perfect. You? Perfect. The net. Did you chat on Facebook last night? Did you chat on Facebook last night? What about the laundry? Did you do the laundry? Did you chat? And Did you? Did you go to bed late last night? Great! Wow, excellent job. And your idea? For me, did you cook some vegetable last night? Okay. Wow, guys, you understood. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to show you this. It says describing the last trip you took. The purpose of this activity is to describe the last time you traveled or you have a nice experience on a trip. So I will give, I will uh, share with you my experience. Okay, it says the last exciting trip I had was three years ago. A group of friends and I went to Piedra Parada, Morazan. We stayed for one month and we lived like in the countryside. It was a small town with high mountains and beautiful views of San Miguel Volcano. We had to walk a lot because there was only one bus in that small town. The people were friendly and generous. While we were there, we visited other tourist places, such as Berkín and Mosicala. We had an exciting time there. We went to the museum, walked along the mountains, swam in the pools and rivers, and met interesting people. It was amazing. And you can see my pictures. We, I went there with my friends. And you can see that beautiful landscape. Obviously, it was like three or four years ago. I was younger. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. So if you can see, this is a past experience, and you can see the verse in past. For example, had, was, went, stayed, lived, um, had, was, where, visited, and went, walked, swam, and uh, met. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, because of the time, I would like you to take it, your, the idea from my example. And uh, you create your own story or experience. Maybe your last vacation, uh, your last trip, etc. Or, or a last important event you had. You can use some time expressions, for example, yesterday, last Tuesday, last week, last month, last year, three hours ago, three days ago, three weeks ago, three months ago, or five years ago, 10 years ago, etc. Or you can mention the specific month in March, in 2010, in 2015, etc. Also, you can include these um adjectives, once a week adjectives like fun interesting expensive happy comfortable or uncomfortable boring and amazing okay mm. so this is going to be your homework and 
right now we have the wrap up with this question. Pero antes de eso, vamos a ver, ¿alguien me puede decir qué va a ser la tarea? Eh, vamos a hacer uh, some speech for your trip the es tiempo atrás. Sí, van a um, hablar de una experiencia que tuvieron, ¿verdad? Puede ser un viaje, alguna celebration, or any important experience you have. Vaya, la escriben primero en su cuaderno. La, le toma a picture, picture, you take a picture, yes. and then you record an audio. Luego me lo, me lo mandan en audio. Me mandan okay. en audio contando esa experiencia, entonces van a practicar con los de Ok. Ok. Yeah, and yes. right now I'm going to create the groups and you are going to discuss these questions. For example, when do we use simple past? Tell me four irregular verbs and four regular verbs. In simple past, what are the spanner rules for the regular verbs in simple past? What are the three ways regular verbs are pronounced in simple past? Okay. So I'm going to create the rules. You have these questions in your in your presentation in the WhatsApp group. But anyways, maybe somebody can take a picture. I will do it. And I will send it on the phone. Okay? So I'm going to play the group. You ask an answer. Mm Hello, Lorina. Hello, Alba. Hola. You need to accept the invitation because Carla is waiting for you in the room number nine. Hello, Alba. Hello. Hello. 
Ajá. Perdón que tengo muchas fallas, eh, casi no la escuchaba. Ah, ok. Excuse me. Escribiéndole estaba que no escucho. Ok. Pero ya hoy sí la escucho. Bueno, no sé si puede darle okay. aceptar. Y ya, no, me, no, no me aparece, no. Es que se, me, se quedó como trabado. Okay. Perdón. Ajá. Ahora, sí. Ahora sí. Ajá, esas son las que vamos a responder. Sí. Entonces nosotros responderíamos we we use it simple past when cuando Usamos pasado simple cuando. Sí. ¿Cuándo? Dale, Dios. ¿Cuándo? Hello. Por ejemplo, cuando... Cuando los verbos son... De you simple pass when... We use simple pass when talk about... Uh, act, act, pass actions, por ejemplo. Ok. Ok, for... Oh, ya nos vamos. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, guys, we have only two minutes to finish the class. And I will ask some people to answer the questions, okay? That you already practiced with your class. Okay. Let me ask Dennis, I saw Dennis very exciting practicing the questions. Okay, Dennis, can you tell me when do we use simple past? When talk about uh, action past. Uh, also, with our experiences, right? In the past. Good job. Okay, um, let me see. Patricia Veronica, can you tell me four irregular verbs in the past? Irregular, four irregular verbs in the past. Drink, eh, drunk, eh, make, ma made, uh, room, run, say, side. Excellent, very good. Veronica Riva, can you please tell me four regular verbs in simple past? No. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see who. Lisa Martinez? Four, re four regular verbs in simple past. Prepare, prepare. Live, live. Listen, listen. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, Modesto, what are the, the spelling rules for the regular verse in simple part? We have three um. rules. 
um, the rules are we have ED in the pair. You add B, you add ED, or ED, uh -huh, or, or ID. IED, exactly, when the verb ends in Y. Excellent. And what are the three ways regular verbs are pronounced in simple past, Isama? Oh, T. Yes. T. D. 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 And? D. E. Okay, very D. good, guys. Okay, it was a very nice class, very short. Okay, guys, take care. Have a good night, rest well, and do your homework and see you tomorrow at the same hour, at the same ID of your Zoom meeting. Okay, goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.